Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll talk about how to create your first Windows Virtual Machine. In this particular tutorial, I'm using Windows Server 2022 and this particular virtual machine will be created on VirtualBox. Now, the steps, the steps, whatever I explained here will work if you want to create a virtual machine for Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server 2012, 2016, 2019 and 2022. Remember, for Windows 11, your machine needs to have the TPM and some of the other mandatory requirements. So Windows 11 needs a special requirement for your personal machine. Now, we need to, we need to download the Oracle Virtual Box. You can use this particular link or you can search in the Google or any search engine for Oracle Virtual Box and download it. And also we need to download the Windows Server 2022 ISO from Evaluation Center. Again, as I mentioned that you can use any of this operating system. If you have the ISO image for any of this, the steps mentioned here will work exactly fine. So let's start, open the browser, search for Oracle download or otherwise save Oracle Virtual Box. Search for Oracle Virtual Box. You will get this particular link. Click on that particular link. It takes you to this download virtual box 7. This is the latest version, which is 7.0.6. Choose 7.06. So choose Windows host. The reason why I'm choosing Windows host is because my machine, the machine where we are going to install the Windows is uh, where we are going to install the virtual box is Windows. It's not because I'm installing the Windows on the virtual box. It's because where we are running and we also need to download this another package called Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. So let's go and download that as well. So both of these particular packages are downloaded. Now, the second part is, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm going to use Windows Server 2022. So you, what you can do is, it's a, again, it's freely downloadable. So search for, in your browser, search for Windows Ser Server 2022 download ISO. It will take you to Evaluation Center. This is the Evaluation Center. You can download you can download the ISO here, but what happens is like you need to give some mandatory information. So it says first name, last name, you have to give this and just click on download. Now it's going to download an ISO for you. You don't have to sign up. It's just an information. So you don't have to log in or create ID. All that you have to do is give this particular information and this particular, it will give you a link. It will download an ISO image for you, the Windows Server 2022 ISO image. So that's done. I have already done that. Let me close the browser. And what we are going to do now is we are going to go to the downloads and we are going to run on this virtual box. And I'm going to say yes. And we are at this moment installing the Oracle virtual box right now, the one which we downloaded. All the default options, that's fine. If you want to change the location, you can change the location. Click on next. Network interfaces is going to in a, reset some network interfaces. I'm okay with that. Click on S. It's going to install some missing dependencies. I'm going to okay with that as well. And then we are ready to install and click on the install. So what it's going to do is it's going to install Oracle VirtualBox 7.0.6. You can see a icon appeared on my desktop. That icon was not there. That icon appeared. I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to click on finish. I'm going to go back to the downloads location and you see that I've got another package called Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack match that version 706 706 so match that version just double click on it and it's going to re the reason why it says reinstall because I already installed one so it's okay I'm going to say reinstall I'm going to agree and is going to install the VirtualBox extension pack for us so that's all good so the installation part of the virtual box is complete. We are now ready to create our first virtual machine. But before creating the virtual machine, before creating the virtual machine, what we are going to do is we are going to create a directory under the C drive. This particular directory will tell, we, that we'll say to the virtual box, we'll use this particular directory to create all our virtual machines. Now, you don't have to create it under the C drive. You can create it on any drive that has got sufficient space and any drive where you want to create your machine. So now I'm going to go to the file, go to the preferences, and I'm going to say default machine folder is C drive. Now, while creating the virtual machine, you can define a different location, but if you don't specify the virtual machine location, it is going to create the virtual machine in C drive VM, the directory that we just created. Now, 
click on machine click on new give the name of whatever machine this is your name whatever virtual machine you want to call it anything that you want your name my name anything so i'm going to say because this is a windows 2012 i'm going to say windows 2012 but it can be any name and you see here he chose the c drive vm the reason of that is because that's where the that's where the i have specified that that will be the default location now this the type and windows it's not windows 10 so it's a windows 2012 so i'm going to choose windows 2012 and the iso image i'm going to also choose the iso image windows server 2022 evaluation version so i'm going to choose that and i'm going to unclick on this skip unedited installation because i want to run through the installation the base memory give 4 gb minimum i'll give 8 gb but at least give 4 gb minimum 4 gb give two processors minimum i'll give four processors but minimum give two processors click on next create a virtual hard drive so 50 gb i'll choose if you want to change it 50 gb it says default I, i'll change it to 80 gb it won't use the 80 gb it will not use 80 gb so no no problem if you don't have 80 gb free space on your drive it's just that the maximum disk can grow up to 80 gb if you say pre-allocate full size then that's when it's going to allocate 80 gb but we are not going to choose that particular option because it's a waste of space click on next and click on finish all good so now what we are going to do is we are going to say start we are going to select that particular virtual machine the blue means we have selected if you have multiple virtual machines you have to choose that particular machine and click on start and what's going to happen is in the background in the background the, the it's going to read the iso image and it's going to initiate that particular it's going to initiate the installation of and you can see it's loading files it's loading the files and it's going to go through so let's it's going to go through so it says language to install united states time and currency format all good if if you want to change any of this you can change based on the drop drop down you can change these options and i'm okay with this so click on next and let's say install now and and then what it's going to do is it's going to it's it's still it is it's going to ask us which kind of version standard evaluation standard evaluation desktop data center data center evaluation i'll go with the data center evaluation you can choose standard evaluation whatever you want you want to install whatever type of operating system you want to install i'll go with data center evaluation desktop experience click on next i accept you definitely have to accept the license click on next upgrade or custom based on where you know i i'll choose upgrade it doesn't matter because it's a base operating systems i'll choose custom it, it, we, this is the 80 gb that drive i'll choose that particular drive click on next and what it's going to do is it's going to now start the installation so it's going to start the installation the installation process is going to take some time so i'm going to pause this video and come back once it's done that's completed and it's actually rebooting the it's, it's it has done the first installation and it's actually started the reboot of that particular machine so it's it's getting ready it's it's, it's the first boot so it's again going to take some time so let me pause the video once again and come back and now we have reached where it asks for the administrator password you need to give a complicated password it won't take a simple password so do not try to give a simple password i'm saying pass one two three four hash it's not a really complicated password but it's going to work i'll show it to you the password that i typed is pass one two three four hash with the p capital it's going to take that particular password so click on finish and the up operating system is installed so we have successfully installed the windows server 2022 so let me log in as the user account the administrator user account let's log into this particular server and now i'm going to show you that this is a window let me right click on this let me right click on this click on the properties and you can see that this is this is a windows server 2022 data center evaluation now if you want to change the if you want to change the uh, if you want to change the host name or the machine name you can rename this so you can right click on this click on the properties and you can rename this pcc it's it choose this particular default name you can choose any name so let's say windows 2022 
virtual box so that it's a virtual box install you can you can and it's going to ask for a reboot which i'm not going to do actually so i'm going to do the restart later and what we need to do is if i want to show you something you can't make this big you can't make the screen big see the screen is small you know and you know we can't copy if i want to copy something so let's say this is a notepad and i want to copy so this is what i want to copy want to copy and you know if i try if i have copied this i can pay prove it to you i'm pasting it i have copied it and it paste works but if i go here open the notepad and if i paste it if i try to paste it it doesn't work so there are some things that doesn't work so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to say devices insert guest so go to the devices so i'm i'll just minimize this devices insert guest edition cd image so that's done o open the start menu i do not know whether that yeah you can see it is now showing cd drive virtual box guest editions right right open that and click on this virtual box guest edition so double click on it and it's going to install this another package we need to do this inside we need to do this inside the the windows 2000 inside the virtual machine not outside we need to do it inside so click on next this default location is all good all good and it's going to and what once this particular package is installed we need to restart the machine but what i'm going to do is instead of restarting see it's, it's asked for reboot i want to manually reboot later i'm going to click on finish and i'm going to shut down this particular machine i'm going to shut down this particular machine and once this particular machine is shut down i'm going to go back to the settings of this particular machine and i'm going to do two three things one of the thing is go to the settings go to the go to the advanced and shared clipboard i'm going to make it bi-directional so that's the one thing that i'm going to do and another thing is i'm going to go to the settings one more time go to the shared folders and here click on plus and i'm saying my local windows c drive my local windows c drive i want to access that particular local c drive into the virtual ma machine and i'm going to say auto mount so that every time it starts it's going to auto mount it so that's done both of these things are done let's restart the machine and let's see whether we are now able to copy whatever we typed here we are able to copy it back to the virtual machine or from virtual machine we are able to copy it here we are going to verify and we are also going to verify if uh, this particular screen is bigger so let's do that looks like the screen is still not big but see the magic the screen should be the screen should be big enough let's actually wait for let's log in maybe okay the password i type let's give it a minute it should take effect so give just one time and for some reason okay just give it a minute okay so i i have to fix that problem so let's that's okay that will work yeah that worked so it took some time so you can see that now that particular screen is big so that's one fixed thing open the windows explorer go to this pc you can see there is another drive called c drive this is a 200 gb drive this is the c drive of my machine and if you access that you can see that this is the that particular vm folder that we created with the virtual machine so you can now access the c drive so if you want to copy a particular file from your if you want to copy a file from your local machine to the virtual machine you can do that from here and the last thing is let's try to copy so this is what i wanted to copy open the notepad okay otherwise open the windows prompt or powershell let's see if whatever we got there and you can see this is what i wanted to copy this is what i wanted to copy so i was able to copy that particular thing onto the virtual machine or i will do the other way around so let's do something so i'm going to say this is powershell i'm i'm going to take this this is powershell i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy this go back to here and i'm going to say this and you can see i was able to copy from the virtual machine to my local machine and from my local machine to the virtual machine i was able to copy we were able to access the folders and the screen is pretty big we can see the screen is also big so we did we fixed and the reason why it works is because of this 
guest additions. We install the guest edition, so that's important. So with this, I'll stop this particular tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we learned how to create a Windows virtual machine on VirtualBox. We used Windows Server 2022 and we used VirtualBox 7.06, the latest available. However, you can use older version and the steps mentioned here will work for Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server 2012, 2016, 2019 and 2022. Remember for Windows 11, you need some extra settings because of the extra TPM requirements by Microsoft. I hope this particular tutorial was useful. I hope after watching this particular tutorial, you will be able to create your virtual machine. I have also covered the Linux in the previous tutorial and in this particular tutorial, it was about the Windows. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Until then, enjoy. And if you do like the channel, if you do like the contents that I am uploading, you please subscribe to my channel. And till then, have a blast in your life. Thank you. Bye-bye.